Thomas Hardy is one of the most popular 19th century novelists, and one reason for this is the countryside that he wrote about. Hardy was born and lived most of his life in Dorset, and he drew on his local knowledge to establish a strong sense of place in his fiction. His novels and short stories all take place in the landscapes, villages and towns that he knew so well. He said that his Wessex was a partly real, partly dream country. So, for instance, the invented town of Casterbridge has a lot in common with Dorchester, and the fictional Weatherbury shares some features with the real village of Puddletown. Fiction and reality, then, are teasingly in tension with one another. So much so that it wasn't long after his novels first came out that avid fans were roaming the countryside looking for the real locations that they'd found in his fictional novels. Hardy was rather pleased about this, so much so that as new editions of his novels came out, he might sometimes made slight revisions to descriptions to make sure that they fitted reality a little bit more closely. Thomas Hardy literary tourism is still very much alive and flourishing today. Get more from the Open University. Check out the links on screen now.